Hi students, welcome to my channel Learn with Tanya. In previous lecture, I discussed about different type of addressing mode, and this video is the continue version of it. Today we discuss some other type of addressing mode which is used in instruction execution like indirect addressing mode, index addressing mode, base mode, relative mode, and auto indexing mode. So let's continue it. Next mode is indirect addressing mode. So what is indirect addressing mode? Indirect addressing mode is the mode of addressing where the instruction contain the address of location where the target address is stored. Means in operand part there is no direct address given. The operand only hold the address of target address which have actual operand value present. Means where the operand value present, the operand field only have a path or link for actual data. Processor go through the given path or link to find out the actual object address. Then again go to the finding address and collect the object value, which is the actual value of operand. Normally it is two type. One is indirect addressing mode using memory location, and second is indirect addressing mode using register. In indirect addressing mode, for finding the target value, it needs two or more addresses. So it's known as indirect addressing mode. So what is indirect addressing mode using memory location? If the target address is present in memory location, then this type of addressing mode is known as indirect addressing mode using memory location. In the indirect addressing mode, at the operand part, there is a address given, which is the address of target address again the target address hold the actual data for example move r6 2000 in above example r6 is the destination and 2000 is the operand first address it refer to another address where the actual data present means 2000 is the first address and 5000 is the actual memory address where the operand value present so processor first check the memory location 2000, it's found a path for another address that is 5000, again it referred to memory location 5000. At the memory location 5000, the data value is present, which is the operand value. This is the drawback of indirect addressing mode. Two or more memory reference are needed to bring the data object. And what is the advantages of it? Here, the address of the data object can be modified. Means, if we want to modify the address of data object, then it is possible through pointer value. Wherever in direct addressing mode, it is not possible. Next, indirect addressing mode using register. So, how it works? Here also two address value are needed. For example, move R1, R2. R1 is the destination address. And R2 is the source present in operand space. But the actual data is not available in address value R2. The data is present in memory location 2002. The R2 have only the address location of 2002. In memory location 2002, the actual data is present. So processor refer to the address R2 first. It found the address or path for the 2002. Then processor access the this data. So what is indirect addressing mode using register? If the operand address is referred to any register value, then it is known as indirect addressing mode using re register. Means there is a address of register value is present in operand part, which refer to an another address. Then it's called as indirect addressing mode. Here the length of the instruction is one byte. Processor work faster than memory location value. It also known as register indirect addressing mode. Next one is index mode. If index register is used as register in finding out the effective address, then the addressing mode is said to be index addressing mode. There is an index register present in CPU. The content of index register is added to address part of the instruction in addressing mode so that it can be find out the effective address easily. Those index register is used for finding the effective address. It's called as index addressing mode. For example, move R0, 50 R1. 
R0 is the destination address and R1 is index address and 50 is offset. What is offset? It is the displacement between the address location. So how we calculate the effective address? Effective address is equal to register plus the offset. The offset value is 50. Let's index register or register value is 4000. So effective address is 4000 plus 50 4050. The operand value is present in memory location 4050. Index addressing mode instruction is 2 byte. One is offcode value and another is offset. Next, base addressing mode. If the base register is used as register in finding out the effective address, then the addressing mode is known as base addressing mode. First, we know what is base register. Base register is the starting address of the program and the value of base register cannot be changed. So, you can easily relocate the program where is the starting point. What is the definition of base addressing mode? Say? If we use the base register or the starting point of register to finding out the effective address, then it is known as base addressing mode. So, how we calculate the effective address? By adding the offset value and the base register, we can find the effective address of the base addressing mode. It's similar as index addressing mode. But the number of bits present in addressing part is less than the index addressing mode. Next is relative addressing mode. What it say? If the program counter is considered to be the register, in finding out the effective address, then the addressing mode is said to be relative addressing mode. Means in relative addressing mode, the program counter, which is used for counting the instruction to be executed, is used as register. With the help of program counter value, processor find out the effective address. This type of addressing mode is known as relative addressing mode. For branch instruction or conditional statement, processor use relative addressing mode. So how we calculate the effective address? Effective address equals to current content of PC plus offset. Current content means the next instruction in program counter ready to be executed. Here also another example given BR50. Let the program counter value is 1002. So effective address equals to 1002 plus 50 1052. This is the destination address where the instruction present. 50 is offset value. Last one is auto indexing mode. This is also known as increment mode or decrement mode. Where it used when processor used some address field in loop form, it used auto addressing mode. So that it does not need to call each address field one by one repeatedly. Auto indexing mode increases its value automatically. It works in two different ways. One is auto increment addressing mode. For example, move R1, R2. Here the R1 is destination address and R2 is the source register. After using the value of R2 register, it auto increment its value to next field. This is called as auto increment addressing mode. And the second one is auto decrementing. Here first it does the decrement process then move operation. The R2 register first decrement its value and then move into R1 register. 